Yes, I do. All you have to do is crazy. No! No. Nope. No, nope. you're living. I'm sorry. I'm rejecting your request. Max? No, give me the choice. We're saying no. Previously on Life is Strange. All right, let's go. Let's get a recap. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! One more episode away, y'all boys. Let's talk. We'll try to finish episode four of this stream, and then we'll finish episode five. What are you most likely doing tomorrow? Here, yeah, Max? we'll probably finish Life is Strange by tomorrow. Don't come near me. That one, I can say that's a promise. We're gonna finish it tomorrow for sure. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck that part pissed me off so much, bro. Come Why give me the option right? to shoot when we're not gonna shoot for Max, real? We have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Why was you I given these like powers? I hope they explain that. Like, why I got these powers Ever to begin with in the first place. Has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked Is it the resolution of the what game that's like changed? making those, you see, like, Max, I know you guys see these like me. distortions. Hold on. Is that the resolution of the game? Chloe, you have a visitor. Cause it's like that for every recap. Now nah, I'm not gonna lie, the reveal for that is insane. That is literally insane. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. Choose wisely. Thank you. All right. That little crab don't get swept up. Well, one thing I like about the recaps is that if you're someone that doesn't know anything about the game, it kind of just shows the general aspects. It doesn't show the choices that you made and what goes along with it. So the recaps kind of leaving like, oh, what happened in which way situation? Because it tells what happened, but not really, if that makes sense. I wonder if they have a Life is Strange TV show or like web series or something. I really feel like with games being made into like shows, they did that with The Last of Us. I feel like they could easily do that with Life is Strange. Put that on HBO Max, get the full effect. That would go hard. That would really go hard. They're not gonna put it like on no regular, They'll probably it's, it's gonna be like a Netflix or Max series for sure. It's not gonna be like, uh, like on television. Well, no, no, probably not stars. 50 wouldn't do it. Yeah, it gotta be like HBO or Netflix for sure. Bro, this is actually crazy. I need to know how that happened, Chloe. It's good that the fishermen getting their, like, you know, sea life back, able to work. It's weird hanging out with you again i know i'm glad we are though it was nice that you sent me actual letters it's more than any of my other friends have done and you okay I, said, I was a better friend before. than i was okay it's so max so pretentious but i love writing on it like an english poet you deserve the best stationery oh, i was making sure i wasn't playing through my probably monitor. easier to write than to visit me I don't mean that in a bitchy way. 
Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? There's certain things Max say, like, why would you say that? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? It's a golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. Am I stuck in this reality forever? I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. Chloe, what happened? You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Oh, car accident. Let, talk about the accident. I want to know. okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Okay. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Black World. You think David was the one that hit him? He did his time, then he got out of jail, and he started driving a bus now? What if David, like, spun the block, like, through time? Like, let's really think about it. He did not like Chloe in the other timeline, so what if it's like, I'm gonna spin the block, give her this accident, he did his time in prison, or probably just was, like, on probation or something, and then he just got a job as a bus driver. Nah, but if he got into a car accident, they wouldn't let him drive the bus, though. I don't know. I feel like it was David was the one that hit her in some way, shape, or form. You mean Rachel, what missing girl? Oh, she did say missing girl. Let me say Rachel. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Mm. You think it might be, don't say that. I'm gonna say it might be. It might be, but I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too, but I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. Oh, we need to change the time back. None taken. Chloe is square. But no, I feel like if I was in this situation and there was a way for me to go back, I would go back to where we were before, the original timeline, tell Chloe what happened and give her the choice. It's like, you're not going to remember what's going to happen, but do you want to live now or do you want to, do you, do you want to see things different? You're not going to remember, but I feel like you deserve that choice. If I could go back, let her at least have an option. But I feel like Max is going to find a way to go back. Because if there's a way to change it, I feel like there has to be a way to go back. If not, this power is horribly flawed. Horribly flawed. All right. Let's play around this new reality, see what's popping. Pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. 
Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Ew. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Yeah, 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 no problem. No problem. I owe you that. Let's, let's look at, okay, she got a little ramp. Okay, let's, um, <laughs> let's look around the, ooh, you gotta get that check. All right, um, let me see. I'm not gonna give you no water yet. You could wait. Let's see. There's the old Chloe. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. That's the first thought. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. Does she blow into that? It's so great people get this high-tech help. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. Danger zone. They're so great. Bathroom, what? Oh, bathroom area. I thought I said Aura. Bathroom area, gas mask, optional. That's funny. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. Okay. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, you know we love you, and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face soon. Please be well. Ryan and Vanessa Caulfield. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Technically, we did it. So I'm not I'm not taking responsibility for oh, that. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. The snow globes are taking over. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, about seven snow globes? Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Well, damn. I'm glad I took this photo. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man, she has to use that ventilator just to breathe. We really fucked Chloe up. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. <laughs> it was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. Seems like we were kids in another life. You're right, seems like yesterday. What do you remember? Yeah, let me see. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. What are your memories? I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Okay, yeah, that's true. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends? Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. I guess she's kind of like the new Rachel in this instance? But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are you lonely? I know this is a dumb question, but are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though, or get in 18 trouble with the folks. 
I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet can they pay. I hate... I hate Max's choices because saying I bet like why are you saying I bet and then can they pay she's already saying it's insane so of course they can these choices are dumb Max you're dumb can they pay can they pay all the bills <sighs> no way they keep the numbers away from me but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year Chloe you're priceless uh <laughs> no pun intended you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. I swear to God, like I, I feel like this is not gonna happen. There will be no reason for this to happen. But if she dies while we're watching this movie, <laughs> I'm turning the whole game off. Like I'm turning it all off, I'm done. It's, it's cooked. Nothing but medical supplies. All right, if it's medical supplies in that drawer too, that's too much. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood Jesus circulating. Jesus Christ. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Oh, they're in the drawers. Let me see, drawer. Ah, uh, here's the DVD. She do got a big TV now that I'm looking at it. All right, now where's the DVD player? All right. Pop it in. You got room in that bed or I'm gonna get a little, okay, I'm gonna get a little chair. Knock knock my politically incorrect racial epithet. Uh, what's good, Patrick Tuperty? Appreciate you coming through to the stream. Let's see. Hope this wasn't like an awkward movie. Oh, okay, stay till morning. I know my ass hurt in that chair though. believe you fell asleep so fast <laughs> how dare you I know you were beat down after the day with me and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night uh, do you I saw that from GTA matter of fact I'm Mexican <laughs> sorry it was I good bro and I like now that you bring it up no. I remember that I do remember I'm that. sorry um, I crashed so hard remember Lamar said that to Franklin right okay? I remember that I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me you are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and Is that the only memory we got? Because I really don't hear nothing. Meant a lot no, to me no, that's just a lie. To, I remember chill out others. with you and, and bullshit. The pirate times must be the best times, huh? Like. <sighs> Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. 
But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Damn. All right. Come on. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait. They converted the garage? Oh. That's pretty innovative. All right. Let me, uh... Let's see. I don't have a timer, so they go. Oh shoot! Hold up. Come by my room tonight, Max. Are we cool? Just want to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you. Wait, did I see Nathan already? Max, if you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. Victoria seems so normal. Hold up, hold up. Max, you busy, girl? That sounded weird. Max, you busy, girl? Avoiding homework as usual. I told you I'd help you out. You know, you never let me help. TLT. Okay, drama. Stop. And you help me by caring. I do try. By the way, I scored that killer bud from you know who, FYI. Save me a bowl. Gotta bounce. Talk to you later. Uh, there's something else I'm missing. Oh, that's a lot. Wait, hold up. I gotta catch up. Okay, talk to Victoria. Taylor. All right. Max, thanks again for taking me to see my mom. I think she wants you for a daughter instead of me. I think not. Your mom is a badass, like you. Yeah, right. I cried like a bit. So did I. You just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets old. My stupid phone is about to die, so call me back. Dad. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're, oh, I already know that one. Nathan. Yo, yo, Max. You around? In the dark room, developing shots for the contest. Sweet. So no two whales for you. Not yet. I'll see you guys later, though. Peace out dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Dark room. Rachel in the dark room. So it was... Wait. The only reason I remember that Rachel in the dark room is because of that recap, but Rachel in the dark room. Dark room, Rachel. So assumably it was... I don't know. I feel like... I can't make speculations yet. I feel like Nathan... It would be too easy to think it's Nathan that did some of the Rachel or the Vortex Club. I feel like that's too obvious. I feel like there's something more to that. Don't know what it looks like, though. Mom. Uh, let's see. I think I think I already... I'm not going to read this again because I feel like I read this before, like, earlier. and just don't remember. Chloe. Hello, Max. This is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use this number. She would love to hear from you. See you soon, I hope. Bye. That's on March 27th of 11.06 a.m., and I messaged back about four to five months later? Hey, Chloe. Maxine here. I know it's been a while. I just want to let you know I'm going to Blackwell Academy now. I hope this is still your number. Max is back. Blackwell? That is so awesome. You rule. Best of all, we can hang again. So, yes, this is still my number. Cool, I've got a buttload of homework, but we'll get together soon. Don't tease me, it's been too long. I know, I'll see you soon. And then Alyssa. Hey Max, it's a shame that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Alyssa, I saw you throw that TP at me. So this is about a day later? OMG, I was so not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. Okay, I thought we was cool with Alyssa. Took those pictures. All right, so that's everything that we had to see. Let me see the TV. They gave Chloe their giant, expensive HD TV, and they use her shitty tube television. But that's parents. It's love. Damn, this is just overdue of eight thousand five hundred and eighty-seven dollars. Ah, shit. Wait. Damn. I thought this had twenty. This is just for Chloe's base. Bonjour. That's great. They finally went to Paris. That's what's up. Alright, keep looking, keep looking. Uh, Just shoot me now. What's the paper? They might get their own home oh. taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Dear Mr. Price, this letter is to notify you that you are in default of your payment obligations on your home loan account number 783. This current account holds the amount of $12,000 payable by August 1st, 2013. This amount has been overdue since March 1st of 2000 for four years. And you have ignored multiple requests to make a payment or reconsolidate your debt, unless the full amount of 12,000 received in 15 days. 
You must begin the foreclosure process on your home. We have given you more than adequate notice on this issue, and we have no other options left. Best Donald Clamp Lenders. Damn. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Prescott Foundation. Jesus. Arcadia Bay Beacon beached angels looking for the whales. Whereas the shores of Arcadia Bay once acted as a lovely gateway to the Pacific and beyond, now locals and tourists face the sad, surreal image of gray whales that inexplicably swam to land and to their doom. The whale pods were spotted early morning on Wednesday, October 9th, and within a few hours, at least half a dozen were dead or dying on the shore. Smartphone footage does not reveal any unusual ocean conditions or excessive pollution. Meanwhile, um, ecologists and marine biologists from across stream on YouTube went down. Really? Meanwhile, ecologists and marine biologists from across the country are carefully studying the samples from the whales and environment. The Prescott Foundation has vowed to provide extra research funds given the local scope of this eco mystery. Continuing on. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. Still Rachel Amber? I guess I can't change everything. Search for popular teen continues. Blackwell honors student Rachel Amber has not been seen for over six months. Yet her family and friends have only intensified the search for the 18-year-old Arcadia Bay resident. Police and FBI have few leads and little information. To get. Why is FBI in the case of a missing 18-year-old woman? Which has caught the interest of a national reality show, Where Did They Go? The Amber family has offered a reward for any information leading to the whereabouts of their daughter. For more details, please contact help at findrachelamber.org. All right, let me talk to, talk to William. Let me see. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? The bill's running oh, up, yes, ain't Max, they? I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> oh, scared? Of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Uh, Joyce, Chloe, care room next. Paris. I'll bring the Paris trip after. I want to know what happened to Joyce. Being around you and Joyce again. Where's is Joyce? So nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Mm, Rachel Amber, Crazy Weather, Prescott Family. What do you know about the Prescotts? The Prescott Family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. They're still Sounds evil. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. Oh, she don't work at Two Wells anymore? I don't no even more? like to think about it. Uh, crazy Weather or Rachel Amber. Let me say Rachel Amber. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber? Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Is that, a, is that like a, a for real for real concern? What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. That's real, though. That That is real. I can't spend time. I wouldn't spend time worrying about other people's family when I got worried about my own. And that's real. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience. Especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But... That's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. Mm. Yeah. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. Yeah. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. The bills are still gonna be there, big bro. Can't relate. Let me see what we got. This insurance. Choice is a food coupon boss. With your daughter, you gotta be. Shoot. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. 
I'm not gonna lie, I would bring back a cookie jar from my house. I would bring back a cookie jar. Go upstairs. Have like some oatmeal raisin cookies in there, some sugar cookies. I haven't had a sugar cookie in a minute. That was Chloe's room, right? This was supposed to be Chloe's room? Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Poster is this? A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a No, it's not. No, it's not. Nothing is ever that big of a coincidence. But at least we never had to hide from step douche. I guess we stopped growing up together. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. I don't feel like it would be cruel, though. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? I feel like that's real. I feel like I would want someone to give me my options and then allow me to have those options. I never heard much about William's brother. Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Can't do that no more. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. They bought crutches for Chloe, <laughs> hoping she might walk again. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, but with my powers, can't I just, like, in a new reality, go back in time with my powers to the time of the accident? Can I just find a picture, look at it, and just go back in time? Or only pictures from my camera would work? Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I am so sorry that I can't help you with a loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes. Love, Aunt Dorothy. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. All right, let me get out of here. All right, I'm going here. Turn the light on. Where's the light? Switch on. How's it going, Time Tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. Search. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. We never thought her dad was going to be alive. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Nothing here. All right, just making sure. Wait, let me open this, let me see. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. door connected oh no I think that's connected to her bathroom oh, let me look at the flyers Joyce and William never had a garage sale before they're drowning in debt just to Damn. take care of their daughter such bullshit dear Mr. and Mrs. Price your joint account has been closed and is now six months overdue please send a check of money order for 3458 payable to happy credit card 
due to recent state and federal cuts, we regret to inform you that your health insurance no longer covers Chloe physical rehab. We can reinstate Chloe at a standard rate of 1250 per week. Bro. Money has too much power. That piece of paper got too much power in this world, for real. Because that pisses me off. That genuinely pisses me off. All right, I got your morphine. I'm doing this for free. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Do I put it on the side of your head? Wait. Okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Oh, I'm thinking I'm about to jam it in the side of a head. Of course, for a head my pain. pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um... Stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Where's the photo album? You look in this direction for it, so it gotta be... Oh, I didn't even see this. I'm glad I took this photo. Oh, I did see that. Chloe, despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. All right, now let me take this. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Right, let's turn the page. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. Can't even see it. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along and I will too so we killed Chloe this isn't how I want or killing yet. her what what are you saying I'm saying that being with you again has been so special don't die here I just don't do this to don't do this like to me. when we were kids running around don't do Arcadia this to me. Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today I want this time with you be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is create. No, no, no. You're living. I'm sorry. I'm rejecting your request, Max. No, give me the choice. We're saying no. Refuse. Accept. Refu refuse. I'm not. No, no. I'm not doing Holy. that. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in Don't give me that decision. Pain, I'm not killing Chloe. That's some shit. This. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. I refuse. And William. I already said my goodbyes to them. 
But they won't honor my wishes. You will. Right? I, I can't... No! ...kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my I'm not killing her in this timeline, and then, no, I'm not I'm doing that. I'm going to help you, but not like that. I'm not doing that. You have to believe me, Chloe. The fact that y'all put that in the game is crazy. Right, You're just bailing on me, like everybody else. No one said Why that. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go, and don't come back. Don't push me away. You're Chloe. pushing me away. Don't do that. I am never leaving you again. Wait, let me see. Can I look at the picture? Can I go back and time? Focus on the photo. I'm sorry, William. Will it work this time? So I can do it. Focus. Max, I'm not gonna lie. That picture made did not do justice. At, for you. I, I don't know what else to say. That's just a bad picture. I hope of you. the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello. Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad, don't blow it because oh. the world famous. Wait, so did her burning that picture just close off that possibility that she could rewind time? Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. This is just so cringy because she don't understand what this back. means. And it's just very, always. It's just very cringy, that scene. Because she doesn't know what she, what you're saying. I was about to say, watch David not be the not be the new man, be um the principal. Wait, what's that? What's that we're lifting? Chloe, 
back. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Should we tell her? We should tell her. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. With that, that concludes our video for today. Thank you everyone that came out to watch this video. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe, and you can follow my social media handles um, in the description down below at HRP Live. And I appreciate everyone that came out to watch the video. Um, Y'all have a great rest of your day, night, after dark evening, all that. And y'all stay blessed. HRP Live out.